Is it just me or does this daylight savings time have some of y'all jumbled up too? Yesterday I cooked dinner. Usually I eat around five o'clock and I was like, cool, my, my microwave says five o'clock, it's five o'clock, let's eat. And then when I looked at my phone, I was like, wait, it's four? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here. And as you guys can tell by the title, today we're gonna be taking a look at the Undercover Sakai Waffles, AKA one of the best shoes in existence in my humble opinion. Now before this video starts, I just wanted to open it up and let you guys know that I'm running a deal on my website. For the last video, it was buy two beanies, get one free, which is still active if you use the link down below. But for this video, I'm gonna give you guys $10 off all of my custom phone cases on my website. So to activate that offer, all you have to do is use the code YouTube. I make all of these cases with 100% authentic material as always. And I just stocked up on all of the 13 models for the iPhones. Link is in the description. Now, like I mentioned, we're going to be taking a look at the Undercover Sakai's, so let's get into it. Two thousand and twenty one seems like it's the year for the Sakai model, and I'm not complaining one bit. If you remember when this model originally dropped, I think it was twenty nineteen. Correct me if I'm wrong. They were going for dummy prices. I mean, if you look at the few colorways that first dropped, I think they're hitting around five to seven hundred dollars, depending on the colorway. And that is insane. As much as I love this sneaker, I will not be dropping over five hundred dollars for a pair of Sakai's. So with all that being said, Let's take a look at what we got today. Today we have two of them in hand right here. I ended up getting these for retail, so shout out to the retail plug. You know who you are. And the first pair that I got that is still on the way is from GOAT. And yes, I took the L on that one. I paid resale, which wasn't too bad, but after all the fees, shipping, and taxes, I kind of overpaid for that pair. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. And the only reason I did that is because I wasn't thinking about my retail plug. I just, I wasn't thinking at the time, all right? Like I said, daylight savings time, this this new weather, it just, it has me jumbled up. The yellow colorway is called the Bright Citroen Sail colorway, and the blue colorway that we have over here is the Maroon Slash Team Royal. And the interesting thing about this was that this maroon pair, I thought this was black when they first showed the pictures. I thought this whole area was gonna be similar to this black right here. But when I looked at it in person, I was like, yo, what the? If you guys have ever customized a pair of sneakers and you've ever dyed anything black, that's what this reminds me of. It's not my favorite look. I personally think that it would look better if it was just, you know, a nice solid black color. Then we'll just have like a really, you know, clean looking colorway. We'll have that crazy suede, blue leather, nice laces and that black to contrast everything. I think that would look really cool, but either way, I still think this pair is a very rockable pair. Out of the three, let me know which one hits for you guys more. I'm still debating. I still haven't seen the other one in person yet, but between these two, at first I was like, definitely this pair right here. And after throwing the yellow ones on feet, I don't know, man, the yellow ones are kind of nice as well. These are very difficult for me to choose. I, I just can't really, I don't know if it's cause the black nylon on this pair or if it's just cause that black and yellow colorway is just something that I'm very used to. And these are a little bit more funky. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments section down below. Now, if you haven't had a pair of Sakai's and you're on the fence about it, definitely think about it a little bit more. One, because these shoes, in my opinion, are one of the best Nike shoes to ever exist. Comfortability, I would give them a 9.5 out of 10. Something about this shoe just does it for me. Y'all can go ahead and vouch for me in the comment section down below and let me know how you guys feel about them. And the second thing that I wanna talk about is the price. So the retail price is $170 right now for this pair. Now after tax and everything in California, that would hit for about 190 bucks. I literally tried for all these sneakers on the sneakers app and I didn't hit for anything. So getting them for retail now is probably gonna be very unlikely unless you're in a really unknown boutique. I know some boutiques like Kith in Hawaii still have them. So if you guys are lucky, you might be able to find these for retail, but it's it's not likely, all right? Just, just don't get your hopes up. But the good thing about this pair is that they're only hitting for about 230, depending on size and of course, depending on the colorway, which I think is a amazing, right? Because like I said, when the first pairs dropped, they were going for like five to $700. I really liked this shoe, but I didn't want to spend that kind of money on it. So being that I'm such a huge fan of this sneaker right here, seeing them for 240 or 230 or 220 even, that's nice. That's real nice. And it's also nice for the people that are debating on getting this sneaker and they don't know if they 
want to try it out or the other ones might have been a little bit more expensive and they just kind of stayed away from the sneaker because of the price of it so with these entry level sakai prices i think it's a good time to just get into it not necessarily purchase this for like the resale or anything but these pairs are just really nice to wear in the spring and summer the funny thing is is we haven't had this kind of weather in a long time and what, what i mean by this kind of weather i know it looks kind of blown out but it's like 55 degrees outside, 60 degrees outside, which is cold for California, right? So when I was doing the on feet, typically I would wear the short shorts with this and some nice white socks. Like that's just a simple and easy fix for this sneaker right here. But since it was so cold outside, I was like, damn, what kind of what kind of pants should I be wearing with these? I honestly had a little bit of a difficult time styling these because I don't have that many pants. I have tech fleece, I got some baggy pants, which I don't think the baggy pants are the move for this one. This is more of like that 2016, 2017 tapered jean look right here with like the runners because this is just that like runner vibe. That was that. That's why I'm wearing those pants in the video for the on feet. Other than that, in terms of sizing, I actually go down a half size and I watch tons of videos where people say go true to size, go true to size. When I do go true to size, I do have a little bit of wiggle room up in this area right here like right where my toe is and i don't like that so if you guys want it to be a little bit more snug go ahead go a half size down thank me later all right thank me later but if you guys want a little bit more room a little bit more space then just go uh true to size with this pair right here no need to go up in size nothing like that it's either true to size or go a half size down if you like your sneakers snug. Now, one thing I do like about this sneaker compared to the Fragment release is that on the back, they ended up doing the Nike Sakai undercover logo on the top part of the heel. I thought that was really nice because on the Fragments, they had this logo right on the side of the sneaker. And I feel like if I ever want to go ahead and you know clean them, I got to be really careful because I don't want to knock any letters off and have it say some crazy stuff. But with the logo on the top of the heel right here, this portion never really gets dirty. So I like how they did that. I like that a lot. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these do come with some laces. So this blue pair right here comes with a set of two laces. We got a black ribbon pair and we also have this rope pair right here. I was going to unlace these and show you guys, but let's just be honest. They look beautiful the way they are right here. If you even think about putting the ribbon laces in there, you are insane. I don't know why they put these ribbon things in here. Like, are they getting ready for Christmas? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's just see how this would look. Oh, look, it looks like trash. So don't do it. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, and speaking of laces, I also have cream laces on my website. Sorry, we were on the topic of laces, but shameless plug, cream laces for your dunks, for your Jordan 1s, I'll leave that down below in the description as well. It's only 10 bucks. Link is down below in the description. I love how this pair is crafted with different materials. You know I like to get a little bit funky when it comes to my sneakers. So this one actually has smooth leather. We got suede, like a nice nappy suede, and we also have nylon, which I personally dig because these shoes right here, I don't have to worry about you know ruining them. I don't have to worry about scuffing them. This shoe, just because of the price, it's just like, it's just so much easier to wear. Like I don't have to worry about anything. It gets a little bit wet, it's good, whatever. It gets a little bit dirty, it's good. That is going to wrap it up on this pair right here. Let me know what you guys think about the Nike Sakai Undercovers. Do you think this model is getting a little bit overplayed with the amount of colorways that released this year? Let me know as well. I personally love it. I wish we could get more colorways, more collaborations, which I'm pretty sure is gonna happen in 2022. So these right here, I'm taking them to Disneyland this weekend. If you guys see me there with David Got Kicks, make sure you say what's up. We're gonna be giving away free Croc charms to anybody that says what's good to the kids. I'll see you guys soon for the next video. Again, if you guys wanna support your boy and shop with me, make sure you check the links down below in the description and I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay, I'm out. Peace.